All right, I want to talk to you about um, what levels mean when we check blood tests, okay? And here's a good example. I saw a man today, he's 42 years old, and he's been treated with testosterone for two years now. When he first saw his doctor, his testosterone was less than 300. So his doctor prescribed a prescription testosterone on the market called Androgel. Put him on 1%. Levels didn't change much, put him on a higher percent, and left him there. So he's been on this dose for two years. He doesn't feel any differently. He still has the same symptoms he had before with uh, some weakness, uh, low desire, um, and some, you know, some fat gain that doesn't make sense based on his diet. Well, his doctor did labs on, let's see, July 17th, just a few weeks ago, and his total testosterone was 355. The range, according to the laboratory, is 348 to 1197. He's 355, so he's seven points above the bottom, and his doctor said he's fine, he's normal, okay? Um, when we treat with hormones, we want to use the word optimal, not normal, for the results, because yes, the, the, he's in the range, but let me tell you how these ranges are calculated. It doesn't mean that anybody from 348 up to 1100 with testosterone feels the same and has the same health. What they do in the laboratory is they get some random blood samples and they calculate the median level, which is the one right in the middle, okay? And then they calculate a mathematical um, extrapolation, two standard deviations above that and two below that. And then they, that's where they get the range from. So it's not what's physiologically optimal, okay? So this guy's been treated, so to speak, for two years with testosterone, he's not getting any benefit of it. You might say, well, why, isn't he, why doesn't he have good levels yet? He's been on this for two years. It's not uncommon in my practice to see men who take uh, the testosterone gel who don't get good absorption. Uh, I would say, in my experience, um, less than half get decent levels when they take the gel. So that's why, I very rarely prescribe the gel. I'll use either testosterone creams or injections weekly or pellets. It doesn't really matter to me, and quite frankly, it doesn't matter to your 100 trillion cells which, which uh, method you use. And you don't have to stick with one, as I told this patient today. Um, you can vary it depending on lifestyle and, and other things because as long as you're using bioidentical testosterone and it's being monitored, then that's all you, your cells care about, so to speak, that they have enough testosterone to take up. But in this, in this man's situation, quite frankly, this is pretty ridiculous that uh, just because he's seven points above the lower limits of normal, this doctor said he's normal. Now, wh why do doctors think like this? Well, in our training, there are many labs that we just can say are normal and that's enough. For example, a potassium level, same blood test he had, potassium level was 4.1. The range is 3.5 to 5.2. You're no better you're no better or worse within that range. The reason is because unless somebody has a disease, your level shouldn't change much within that range over time. In other words, there's not an age-related decline in your potassium level level or your calcium level or anything else, but hormones are declining. It's kind of like it's kind of like if you go to the doctor and you're 51 years old and say, "Doc, you know my vision's blurry." He says, "Well, you're 51 years old; it should be blurry." You say, "Okay, thanks. I guess I'm done." No, I want to see optimally. So you get the glasses, and now I can see like when I was 20 years old. That's the same concept with hormones. Normal aging is not healthy. You need to get levels optimal, and you need to keep them there, and you need to keep them balanced with other hormones. So I see this quite a bit. I see it not just with men and testosterone. I see it with women quite a bit also, that especially with thyroid hormone. Um, many of my patients just aren't having their thyroid managed correctly, so we have to go through the same type of approach where they may be within the normal range, but they're not optimal. Another way to think of normal range is, you know, let's say the average height for a man is 5'7 to 6 foot in this country, okay? Um, you may be six foot one, you may be five foot six. You're outside of the range, okay? Doesn't make it abnormal. It's just you're not in that calculated average. So 
When something's declined due to aging and you decide to treat, you want to treat to more youthful and physiologic levels for optimal health.